friends, welcome back to Big Ideas for Little Learners and our movement time today. We're going to do some Earth Day yoga. All the poses we do today are going to have to do with planet Earth. But first, let's practice some breathing to get our bodies ready for yoga. When we take a deep breath, we're going to fill our lungs up with air. And then when we exhale or breathe out, we're going to push all the air out as we breathe slowly. We're going to raise our arms up. Ready? Take a deep breath in. And breathe out slowly. Big breath in again. Breathe out slowly. Let's do one more. In. And out slowly. All right, our first pose for planet Earth is the tree pose. We're gonna put our hands on our waist and you want your feet to be nice and firm on the ground. You can do it by balancing your foot on the ground with your toes on the ground and your heel um, resting on your other leg's ankle. You can also put your foot on your calf or if you have really good balance, you can put your foot all the way up into your inner thigh. I can't balance that well that way, so I'm gonna keep it here on my calf. Okay, we're gonna do another big deep breath here. Balanced. You can make your tree grow branches, tall branches. All right, let's put our foot down. All right, keep those feet nice and strong on the ground. You're going to balance your toe on the ground and put your heel on your other foot's ankle. Remember, keep your hands on your waist to keep your balance. Put it on your calf, or if you're really well balanced, you can put it all the way in your inner thigh. Again, I don't feel very balanced that way, so I'm going to keep it on my calf. Let's do a big breath here. Grow your tree branches. All right, put your feet down. Now we're going to do mountain pose. So we're going to put our feet together, our legs together, and we're going to put our hands at our sides and turn our thumbs out just a little bit. We're going to do three more big breaths here. Big breath in and out slowly. Stand tall and strong as a mountain. Big breath in and out slowly. If you want to close your eyes, it can help you balance too. All right. Now we're going to turn our mountain into a waterfall. I'm going to turn sideways so you can watch how I do it. So I'm standing in my mountain pose. I'm going to take a big breath in and raise my arms up. And I'm going to fall over like a waterfall into forward fold. Take a big breath. One more big breath. Now from here, we're going to make a river. I'm going to put my hands down at the front of my mat and my legs back to the back of my mat. And I'm going to do upward facing dog and be a big, strong, rushing river. And now we're going to take a big breath in and stretch back into downward dog and make a volcano. All right. Now for your volcano, we might want to make it erupt. So we're going to lift one leg at a time. Back into volcano. And you're going to take a big breath in. Lift one leg up and make it erupt. Take a big breath in. And now bring that leg all the way in between your hands. Rest your toes behind you. And now we're going to make an island. Lift your head up. Stretch your body. Take a big breath. Now we're gonna go back into down dog. Make your volcano. Take a big breath in. Reach your other leg up. Erupt that volcano. Take a big breath in. And bring that leg all the way up. Bend your knee in front of your hands there. Rest your toes behind you. Stretch up and look up at the sky. Now you're another island. Take a big breath in, and we're going to go back up to 
our volcano. One big breath here. And down to our knees. All right, friends, our next pose is flower. So for this one, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna put our feet together. You can call this cobbler's pose. Sometimes people call this butterfly. You can put your hands on your feet. You can rest your elbows on your ankles and lean forward a little bit. Or if you're feeling extra flexible, you can stretch all the way down. You can even rest your hands on top of your um, fists like this on your toes. I wouldn't suggest putting your face on your feet too dirty. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Nice and slow. Big breath in. Exhale and lift your body back up. All right, we're going to do two more poses. This one's a little tricky. We're going to make a twisted vine. We're going to start by putting our legs in a very tight crisscross applesauce. So one leg under and one leg on top. So you're crossing your legs over each other. Right now, my right leg is on top. So I'm going to take my left hand and put it on the outside of my right leg. I'm going to take my right arm up to the sky. Take a big breath. And we're going to twist around and be a twisted vine. Stretch behind you. Look over your shoulder. Oh, I see beautiful flowers. Thank you, planet Earth, for these beautiful flowers. Take a big breath in. Untwist your vine. Now we're going to switch our legs. This part's tricky. Put the other leg on the bottom. And now I have my left leg on top. I'm going to put my right hand on the outside of my left leg and raise up my other arm, my left arm up. <gasps> Big breath and stretch behind you. Hello, beautiful flowers. Thank you, planet Earth, for these beautiful flowers. Take a big breath. Back to the front. And untwist your vine. Our last planet Earth pose is going to be our rock. This is also called child's pose. So you're going to kneel down on your knees, separate your knees out a little bit, and you're going to crawl your hands forward till you're resting on the mat. Don't I look like a rock? I'm going to take two more big breaths. Last one. All right, take a big breath in. Crawl your hands back up to your knees. Well, friends, that's it for yoga today. I hope you had fun. See you next time. Bye.